Hey everyone welcome to Aero Raider the Ilyashin AL-96 is a name from the Soviet-era aviation legacy known for its durability, for engines, and long-range capabilities, but also for being outdated and commercially sidelined. However, after Western sanctions on Russia in 2022, which cut off access to Boeing and Airbus aircraft, Russia began reviving its old domestic aircraft programs. Out of this effort came the IL-96-400M, a significantly upgraded version of the original IL-96, with its first flight taking place in late 2023. Now in 2025, the aircraft is undergoing testing, with limited production plans in place. 2. Design and Technology – A New Look on Old Bones The IL-96-400M is based on the IL-96-300 platform, but it brings several meaningful upgrades. A stretched fuselage allows for up to 370-plus passengers in a single-class configuration. Modernized cockpit featuring a glass display layout, digital navigation, and updated communication systems. It still uses the Aviad Vigatel PS90A1 engines, reliable but not very fuel-efficient by today's global standards. Performance-wise, the aircraft cruises at around 850 km per hour and has a range of 8,800 to 9,000 km. However, it still follows a four-engine layout, which in 2025 is considered inefficient and costly for long-haul operations compared to modern twin-engine aircraft. 3. Cabin Experience – Functional, Not Fancy The cabin experience in the IL-96-400M is described as basic but functional. While some prototypes include in-flight Wi-Fi, entertainment systems, and business-class amenities, the aircraft isn't yet tailored for modern commercial passenger comfort. That's mainly because its primary role, at least so far, is for VIP and cargo use, not standard airline service. As such, it lacks the refinement found in jets like the Airbus A350 or Boeing 787. 4. Performance Analysis – Capable, but Costly On paper, the IL-96-400M performs decently. Good range and payload capacity. Strong safety systems and structural durability reliable in extreme weather conditions. But its fuel economy is its Achilles heel. Compared to twin-engine long-haul jets, it consumes 20 to 25 percent more fuel per passenger kilometer. That's a serious problem in today's aviation environment, where airlines prioritize fuel savings, sustainability, and low operational cost. The IL-96-400M simply isn't built for that reality. Strategic value, essential for Russia, irrelevant globally. The true value of the IL-96-400M is not commercial, it's strategic. For Russia, it represents Import substitution in a time of sanctions A domestically produced wide-body jet for presidential and military use A symbol of aerospace independence and national resilience But outside of this context, the jet has no serious commercial market. As of mid-2025, not a single airline Russian or international has placed an order. Its high fuel consumption, limited support infrastructure, and outdated design mean it can't compete on global routes. 6. Future Upgrades – Hopes Pinned on the PD-35 In mid-2025, there's growing interest in a future twin-engine variant of the IL-96, powered by Russia's next-generation PD-35 turbofan. If developed successfully, expected around 2026-27, this version would offer Far better fuel efficiency Reduced operating costs A more modern two-pilot cockpit design Lower weight and simpler maintenance This could finally bring the IL-96 platform into a more competitive position. However, for now, the PD-35 is still in development, and any such aircraft remains a concept, not a reality. 7. Industry Reactions – Cautious at Best Aviation experts and forums are critical, though they do acknowledge the engineering achievement. The common sentiment is A symbolic aircraft, technically interesting, but commercially obsolete. Good for VIPs and military cargo, not for passengers or airlines. On aviation forums like Reddit, enthusiasts say It looks great in the sky, but it drinks fuel like crazy. It's a nostalgia machine. Not a practical one. 
And that sums it up well, for modern airlines, it's not a viable product when aircraft like the A330neo, 787, or even U-777s offer far better economics and fleet integration. 8. Final Verdict, in 2025, IL-96 is still in each jet. White Heavy Checkmark Pros 100% Russian-built, sovereign aerospace project. Structurally robust and proven in VIP and military roles. Strategic value during import restrictions. Crossmark cons. High fuel consumption. Outdated four-engine layout. No commercial interest. Extremely limited production capacity. And arrow conclusion, a statement, not a solution. The IL-96-400M in 2025 is not a commercial aviation comeback, it's a strategic and symbolic aircraft, built for necessity, not market demand. It shows that Russia can produce a long-range wide-body jet under sanctions, but also reminds us that fuel efficiency and economics still rule aviation. Until a twin-engine PD-35-powered variant becomes real, possibly in 2027 or later, the IL-96-400M will remain a limited-use